already Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. Welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. This is the NWA Power Review Series for uh, the 27th of July, 2021 Champion Series. Power opens with a match right at the start of the program. Part of the team by team concept kind of like the AWA team challenge series from uh, over 30 what 32 years ago now something like that uh, winners capture a title shot team Camille and Austin Idol battles team Aaron Stevens and Taryn Terrell while team Nick Aldis with Molina takes on team Pope with Velvet Sky I'm not a fan of the concept but it is what it is Tom Latmere t of team Camille defeats Marshy Rocket uh, of team Stevens Latmere right away goes after Rocket and shows his experience. Rocket endorses and endures early assault and gets some arm drags off. Rocket hits a drop kick, sends Latmere to the apron, and uh, Rocket gets his neck into the top rope. Uh, Latmere comes back with stomps and a neck breaker along the way. Latmere drives some knees into the back of his opponent, um, stopped and cut off quickly. Uh, Latmere goes for an axe handle off the middle ropes, and Rocket hits a super kick and a power slam for a near fall. Uh, Latmere rakes his eyes and then hits a stunner for the pin. Uh, match is fine. It does what it was intended to do. Um, team Camille earned five points for the victory. Gemicide with team Fo of Team Pope defeats Sky Blue of Team Aldis. Uh, Gemicide uses power and experience dominating Blue. Blue is a little bit faster and perhaps more athletic, but the power is too much. Blue sells her arm uh, even with something as simple as an arm bar. Blue hits a drop toe hold and sends Gemicide into the middle rope, hits a drop kick into the back, but couldn't get her over in Sunset Flip. Head scissors take over, works well. Blue then hits flying cross body in the near fall. Blue goes for another head scissors. Gemicide blocks and hits a sit-out powerbomb for the win. Um, match was short. Gets what it need, gets done what it needs to get done. Team Pope gets five points in the process. JTG of Team Stevens defeat Mims of Team Camille. Uh, JTG has a bunch of experience. We're covering him over on the NXT review currently. And he's one step ahead of Mims. Mims keeps coming at him. JTG hits a lariat, and um, JTD wor works over the arms of his opponent here. And some knees and stomps. Um, JTG hits a spine buster. Mims kicks out. Mims comes back with a headbutt, among other strikes. And then there's some shoulder tackles along the way. Mims goes top rope, misses a big uh, elbow. And JTG hits the Brooklyn Edge for the pinfall. Uh, Team Stevens gets five points. Trevor Murdoch of Team Pope defeats Fred Rosser of uh, Team Aldis. Also, uh, Aldis and Murdoch exchange words before the match. Obviously, they did their last pay-per-view deal here. Uh, trash talk with both guys. Intensity, and they level off. Murdoch slaps Rosser. Rosser. Uh, doesn't want to brawl. Murdoch tells Aldis to shut his mouth on commentary and then hits a spine buster. Murdoch has more intensity and eventually I think him defeating Aldis might might be good for business. Uh, Murdoch's back to doing everything he could to get an advantage. Aldis then puts Rosser over on commentary as someone that could they could build uh, the NWA around. Rosser and Murdoch end up on the apron. Aldous calls uh, Billy Corgan a Marxist, and Rosser then tries a suplex. Murdoch on the apron. Murdoch clotheslines Rosser back into the ring. Um, Tim Storm pointed out that the heart, that the flying bulldog and crossface submission that's used by um, Murdoch was also used by Harley Race. Um, match was good. Rosser looks good here, and. They both work hard. Um, anyway, either way, I mean, this is a simple episode of the program. 
still better than most of the wrestler in wrestling that's on the national scene in the sense that every character counts for something and week to week the stories matter. You can cover it in five to ten minutes every week, which is a cool thing for me. And we'll be back with more right after this.